Hello my good Football Fan TV, this is the Starting Eleven show. Republic of Ireland take on Bulgaria at the Viva Stadium on Wednesday evening. And yeah, we're gonna it's a must-win game, and I'm gonna pick the team that I would like to see start the game. Uh, Darren Randolph and goal looked away. Let's not dwell on it. Darren Randolph and goal, you look at what he did the other night against Wales and the saves he made to keep us in the game. He is a, a key part of our team and I think he still will be for the next year or so i still think he's an absolutely brilliant goalkeeper Um, would like to see him probably starting more at club level but there's nothing really can be affected about that at the moment but in saying that for ireland he hasn't really let us down other than the finland game in how many years so i think one mistake is taken so many games i think is um is still quite good i think a lot of keepers make mistakes he makes very few so Mr. Dependable, so have him in goal. Right back then, I am going to have Dara O'Shea at right back. I just feel as though he's a better option than Cyrus Christie. Cyrus Christie might give us more going forward, but I think Dara O'Shea has shown already in his international career, in the few caps that he's had, he's played right back, centre back, left back, and he's just looked assured in all positions. And I think he is someone who I think would, would play there and would play it well, whereas Cyrus obviously has been suspect defensively, but good going forward. Now, I'd imagine Stephen will want to keep a clean sheet tomorrow and try and win. Obviously, we conceded against them in our first Nations League game and obviously got the late equaliser through Shane Duffy. But we'll be looking to, to beat these tomorrow. It's a must-win game, so I think that to tighten up the defence, I have Darrow O'Shea there and next to him I'd have Kevin Long, who you know, he comes in and he always seems to do well, but he never really seems to stand out. I don't know whether that's something about him or, or what but he comes in and you know you can depend on him but he's not always going to be your favourite centre back even though he doesn't do anything wrong um, he just probably doesn't stand out because he's just very I don't know he's very ordinary If and that might sound weird as a professional footballer he is very ordinary like he does everything simple he's not flashy he's just a proper defender and again I, you know I think he's a, a a good defender albeit ordinary but He's a good defender and I think he'll come in and he'll do you a solid job defensively. Beside him, Shane Duffy, skipper. Again, I think he's been doing I thought he's done well against Wales. Uh, bar one mistake against England. You know, so I think Shane Duffy's showing signs of he's starting to improve again and, and get back to the level in which we know he can perform. He hasn't really done a whole lot wrong in, in Irish jersey in so long anyway. But yeah, I think Shane Duffy there alongside Kevin Long and Darrell O'Shea is a good solid foundation and then that would allow with the experience there in centre back Ryan Manning then to play at left back who is a natural fit at left back. Now Stephen Kenny might call it a different way and have Darrell O'Shea left back with Cyrus Christie there but this is the team I would like to see Ryan Manning coming in, a good offensive full back who will get amongst it and is quick as well. So we'll have a bit of pace on that left-hand side as well. So I think that's a fair kind of reflection on the back four. I think that's a, a, a balanced back four. And I think it's something that we could have a good foundation then to build off. And then my sitting midfielder, um, Connor Howerton. Now, people will be saying, I said it in the last start and 11 show, I think that uh, I did about Howerton saying, what do I see in him? I, look, he's a Premier League player. Uh, albeit he's not getting into the team at Villa. He is a good player. Has yet really to show... A lot for Ireland, I'd admit, but I still think he has quality. He's got that left foot. And when he played in the sitting role before, I thought he was actually quite good at it. So I'm going to have him sitting, and I think him sitting and kind of being the player who picks out passes and stuff, receives it from deep and maybe hitting long diags and stuff like that up to our forwards isn't a bad thing. And I think, you know, the fact that we're depleted at the moment with COVID and injuries and suspensions, that I think he's the natural fit to come in there and play there. You know, I think it's crazy if he doesn't, to, to be perfectly honest. And then in front of him, I'd have Jason Knight. I think didn't really get a whole lot to show what he can do against Wales, but he was direct and, you know, he show, he put himself about, which I like. And I think he will only get better with obviously more games that he gets for Ireland. And I think if he starts getting in now, it's kind of building towards the games of March and having him then maybe as a you know, regular in the senior squad going forward. Because I think now with the 21s and stuff, 
they have one more game that campaign's over then against uh, Luxembourg they're obviously not able to qualify so I think Jason Knight will be bumped up to the first team he's doing well with Derby at the moment Rooney's always singing his praises so I think it's it's it only makes sense to have Jason Knight in there and then I'm going to go with some that might surprise some of you and it might delight some of you and it might disappoint some of you but I'm going to go with Jack Byrne who I know look the short pass he or his pass was too short to Jason Knight and ultimately got Jeff Hendricks sent off. I understand that, but I would rather have a risk taker in there who's willing to get on the ball and demand the ball off players like I've seen him demanding the ball off Matt Doherty the other night in the tightest of spaces, who's looking to make something happen all the time. So for me, I would love to see Jack Byrne start this game. I think it's tailor made for him to come on and do really well. He obviously made his debut against Bulgaria in that friendly under Mick McCarthy. And done well in that game as well when he came on. But I would like to see him start this game. Get a foothold of the game. And who knows where it could take. Imagine he was the player who scored the goal to get us out of this six game drought without a goal. I would love to see it. And you know from, from watching Jack this season. And he's come up against AC Milan. And obviously with European football before last season. With Chamac Rovers last summer. Um, you know he was brilliant in, in Europe as well. And I think he's shown that he, he can reach the levels. Of international football and I think Bulgaria is the perfect platform to allow him to express that so yeah and uh, you might be screaming at the screen and saying yeah what about Robbie Brady but this is why I've gone with Robbie Brady on the left hand side who I think if we can get Robbie Brady on the left hand side and he's whipping balls in and he's taking the ball into him Ryan Manning overlapping because Brady's really good at that is that he can lure players to him and allow other players around him to make the movement because he's so technically good you know, he can pick out the pass, he can pick out the delivery. His deliveries the other night against Wales were really, really good. It's just that we couldn't connect to the final ball. Shane Duffy a couple of times, probably on another day they go in. So to have Robbie Brady on the left-hand side, whipping in balls, I think if we have a target man in there, I, I definitely think that, that that would suit us. You know, And I think Robbie Brady is probably our best technical player. Again, it gives the option of either Howard or Brady whipping balls in. Um, I would like to see some of our other players maybe stepping up a right footer, maybe stepping up to uh, take some set pieces as well because we're always kind of going with the left footed player. I would like to maybe see a right footed player taking them. Then on the right hand side, I'm going to go Daryl Horgan. Again, I thought he was, he was good in parts the last couple of games that he's been on. He's direct and something like that. I'm hoping that maybe he can show a bit more quality and maybe get his first international goal and that could propel him then onto bigger and better things hopefully but uh, I think he's done well he's grafted but sometimes you need a little bit more than graft and uh, obviously look but in this case I would like to see Daryl there I think it shows a bit of directness and then James Collins up top who I thought had done really well when he came off the bench against Wales looked a handful uh, scored against Bulgaria as well in that friendly when I mentioned with Jack Byrne scored in that game and I think he looks he looked really good and really up for it the other night and I think he has the physicality, he's a bit of a bully and I think he can bully some defenders there and, and do really well for us. So I would love to see him be the player that starts as the target man and then you have Daryl Horgan and Robbie Brady whipping in balls to James Collins or he could be a distraction for someone like Jason Knight to arrive late into the box and maybe get a, a goal somehow like that. I think that would be fantastic. I hope we can do this. Let us know your thoughts in the comments on the starting level and who would you go with? I'd be interested to see with the players that are still there. There's obviously McIniff and Graham Burke and other players. Would you like to see a, a midfield three of Shamrock Rovers players? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Don't forget to drop a subscribe. Don't forget to leave a like as well. Thanks very much for watching and I'll speak to you all soon. Take care.